Hey guys, it's Matt from Hickory Grove here. Uh, I wanted to show you guys a plant that is useful to know that grows naturally in our area through the northeastern United States, um, up into Canada, and can be found in a lot of places. Um, it's a toxic plant. Uh, some people use the term poisonous. I'll use the term toxic and I'll explain why in just a minute. But what you see here is called red baneberry. Now this is a <clears throat> local toxic plant that when eaten, when these berries are eaten, um, they can have some very serious side effects. Uh, but this grows everywhere, around here, everywhere. And you'll see other ones um, that come in shades of white and pink and stuff like that. And uh, a lot of people also call it the doll's eye plant. Um, but it is, it is very toxic. These berries are toxic. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what the berries look like and what the leaves look like and then uh, we'll talk about what it can do to you actually so <clears throat> here's what the cluster of red berries will look like now like i said this is called the red bane berry um there's white and pinks and and such like that but this is the red one it's very bright red it looks like little tomatoes almost and you'll see these little pupils at the end uh which are like little black dots and that's kind of where they get the doll's eye name from um this is what they'll kind of grow up in big big clumps of berries and they'll come off the stem usually off of one per plant will have a big stem of berries coming off of it but this is what the berries will look like now the leaf pattern is pretty simplistic let me go up, grab the actual setup okay so we'll look at this one instead so this is coming straight up off the stem like this, all right? So if you're looking down at it, this is how we're gonna view it. This is what you'll look like. You'll usually have a trifold of leaves coming off that will produce their own separate trifolds, usually three, as you can see, one, two, three. So three, three, three. Um, that's usually how they're set, and they're very rigid leaves. The top leaf will be almost in the shape of a maple, and then the other ones will kind of give more of like an oval, shape to them but they'll all be rigid and uh, such like that it's dark green on this side and then a lighter shade of green on the other side very very easy to identify on the plant but what will give it away is the berries uh, these are you can't mistake the berries and I hope everybody can see them pretty good um, so what happens when you ingest these well First thing you are probably gonna feel is some abdominal discomfort. And what I mean by that is, more than likely you'll get that, that gut-wrenching feeling you're gonna really start throwing up. Um, so you have some very, the first thing you'll feel is abdominal pain, and then you'll have a lot of gastrointestinal uh, problems. You'll be throwing up, um, you'll be in the bathroom, um, but that's, that's the minor effects of it. Now, if you get more serious effects, it can really start raising your blood pressure um, and it can start really messing with your blood, which in turn, from what I've understood, is people can actually go into cardiac arrest if this is ingested at a higher amount. Now, like I said earlier, I used the term toxic instead of poisonous because poisonous, poisonous is like built to be a very a, a crazy word to use, I guess. Everything in life is toxic. Um, you have to understand that if you eat enough of something, it's not good for you. So everything has a certain level of toxic. Now when we talk about high toxic plants, that's when you hear me say this is a toxic plant, meaning it's got a high level of uh, toxic characteristics to it. Like this, this would be a toxic plant. So this can potentially kill you. This can potentially put you into cardiac arrest if consumed enough of. But if you even consume a little, I promise you, you're not going to like the outcome and you're going to really regret even trying to eat one of these. So um, put this video out so you can show your kids what not to eat. Um, you can look for it in your yard. That kind of stuff, you know, the little ones especially, they go for the brightly colored, colored berries and, and um, especially this time of year being berry season. Don't want anybody getting confused. So there you go, the red baneberry. I hope everybody learned a little bit of something. If you're confused about anything, uh, if you have a question about a potentially toxic plant or anything like that, or even a potentially edible plant, uh, send me a message, comment below on this video, 
whatever you want to do. Um, until then, I will talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy your upcoming weekend, and I hope you're being nice to each other. Take care.